the first thing that I'm putting together is a surgical scalpel. This is the set model for uh, We Are In Time. We Are In Time is a, a kind of large collaboration uh, between a writer, and a theatre director, a composer, and a group of musicians, and two singers and an actor. The story will be told through song. So most of the action will be sung either by singers, but also musicians. So this is the first time that we will be kind of singing on stage. The material has been created by the writer Pamela and the composer Valgir. Um, so specially commissioned music, specially written libretto. It's a story of a um, heart transplant. So a young man dies uh, in hospital. Um, his family give their authorization for donation for his uh, vital organs. And elsewhere, in another part of the country, um, a woman is on the critical list um, I'm waiting for a, a, a heart to become available that will save her life. The heart is retrieved from the young man, it's sent on a journey across the country and it's implanted into the woman in the waiting hospital. And I felt like I really needed to feel what an operating theatre would be like and watch people interact and see what kinds of interactions they had. So very kindly the Golden Jubilee Hospital invited me to go and view routine day surgery and it was the most satisfying to watch. It felt like I was watching artists at work. Hearts don't like to leave the body and indeed as soon as they do uh, there's this significant time pressure within a few hours that heart without having it established its blood supply, will die. So tight coordination is crucial. There are two teams that, that run almost simultaneously. The donor team, where the donor organs are being prepared and are being procured. While that retrieval process is happening, everything is done on the recipient side to make sure that our patient is ready to go to theatre and to accept and allow us to implant that organ with no loss in time. So the, the chief of the orchestra really is the transplant coordinator who makes sure that um, everything follows in a rhythm and that ultimately the synchronization of the two acts is harmonious. Time please. Three hours ten. Going to the aorta. Give me plegia please. I'm always interested in, in music that works on a visceral level and, and this is obviously a very visceral subject. In writing for the, the ensemble, I was really comparing it to the, the surgical teams and to the, the precision that the, they have to do with their instruments, you know, both in the operating theatre and, and on the stage. It sort of reflects my interest in, in technology and, and the human element. I thought about it like the string instruments and the singers would be sort of the emotional aspect of this complicated experience for, for everybody involved. And then the uh, electronic sounds kind of reference the technology, the science behind it. We might have a heart for you. So they're here and they go, uh, we might have a heart for you. So we need to see that in your face. It's just like, I do yeah. The idea is that this death actually leads almost miraculously through the kind of miracles of science and, and medicine. And, and, and this heart is able to give life to a person uh, who may not have lived otherwise. So it's a very kind of um, optimistic, I think, but a, a, as well as, as being very dramatic and, and serious. The big themes are life and death or in this case, I think the themes are death and life. 
uh, I, I think it's unusual uh, in drama to do something that explores death and then explores life as a consequence of death. I think it ends in a really positive place. The end of it is about one person's life being extended and it's about another person having a legacy beyond uh, having a legacy beyond death. One of the connections I make between this art and the science, there seems to me to be a sort of fundamental human drive to exert control over our environment in different ways and to different ends. But I saw a similarity there. Making art, you, you're always attempting to commute death in some way, which sounds a little portentous, um, but I think possibly it's true.